what, what's, what's, what's going on with this then? It's... Well, I think it's like an industry collaboration. Collaboration, is it? Yeah. Right, people working together? Festival. Festival. Aye. Aye. Short comedy films are written. Aye. So they get like a... Um, they're getting all like industry professionals mm -hmm. and like yeah, big filmmakers. Sounds good. People from the BBC and that. TV folk as well. TV folk. Aye, aye. What about probably get us involved? Probably, do you reckon? Aye, aye, aye. Co filmic, that's the name as well. Co good name that isn't it? Co filmic. You, you, you could hang a festival on that. No, no bother. I maybe, maybe we could uh, maybe we could try some of uh, some more avant-garde stuff. The left you know, field stuff. The left field I stuff. Some, what, what, what was the idea that you had uh, it was for, for, the, for the Godfather? The Godfather one was boil all three films down to just a smell. Aye, aye. Why? Oh, what's uh, what's that smell of? Oh, pesto sauce and deceit. Thank you. Uh, palm door. Welcome. <laughs> Um, I wanted to become involved with co-filmic really just because I'm interested in sort of comedy communities really around the, around the country but in particular in the northwest where I work in Manchester and I think that um, you know the more people can kind of get together and talk and share ideas and spread ideas and meet other inspirational people who do similar things within different areas of the, of the, of the comedy world um, the better it is for everybody really. There's always been a good history of comedy coming out of Manchester, so I thought it would be a good idea to get involved. Charlie Hansen. Charlie Hansen. Aye. Aye he works with, uh, works with that R Ricky Gervais. Extras. Extras, he's that's right. Uh, Cemetery Junction. Aye, the film with, um, with Stephen Merchant. Aye, aye, aye. He's, he's done loads of stuff though, hasn't he? He's big hitter, mate. Big, big hitter. hitter. Big hitter. In terms of writing comedy, you don't have many events where comedians and writers get together, so I think just the mere fact of bringing that talent together, it's a good idea. We kind of thought there was nothing really happening like this in this area at the moment anyway, and it represented a genuine opportunity for <clears throat> both writing and on-screen talent, as well as production talent, to really have a focus um, for their work, really, and an opportunity to showcase what they're about and the skills that they have. The other people must be in this situation to try and get either their calling card films, their short films, or just coming together to make a film, just for the joy of it. Oh, they want to be involved oh aye. Learn about Noreen Kershaw. Aye, right, yeah, Kershaw. Um, Direct, aye, well, directing as well, big director. Done loads of directing. Uh, Corrie. Yep. Um, Shameless. Mm -hmm. And she's done, she's done loads of short films. Aye, aye, aye. Prolific, man. Prolific. She's prolific. You cannot knock prolific. Because when you're in the middle and you're trying to get something off the ground, it is not good to do it with some other people or, or to have a focus, to have a deadline, to show it to your peers, to maybe show it to other people who can give you professional advice or even to get you a job, which is why a lot of us um, make short films and films. We, we want to do film. Film is exciting. What maybe we wanted to be part of it was uh, just because you know, there's a chance to meet. Oh, no, this lad. This lad knows what he's on about. Uh -huh. I like this. Good looking as well. Striking. Uh -huh. Aye. Striking. He's got a, got a touch of the Jamie Oliver's about him, if you no, ask me, like. No, he doesn't. No, it looks like he's been working in a kitchen. He's all clammy. No, rugged and chiselled. Handsome. Aye. There was something going on behind the going on behind the, the eyes, like. Genius, I imagine. It's like a night all. There's very few opportunities for like comedians on the ground and then uh, industry people to get together. Um, it's just the nature of the business. So, you know, if you can get something that helps that happen, then that's a, a great thing. Um, I think it is so important now to have any initiative that encourages particularly British independent filmmaking talent. And there's so few places that you can uh, show off your talent in, in, in this country. Uh, I do my best. Now, he, uh, I, he is a, I, a, a funny man. Aye, 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 funny. I, 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 just, I just have to look at him and I just stop <laughs> bossing out laughing, man. Oh. I, I, I look at him all day. I mean, if he, if he was in one of those, uh, one of those non-talkies, that, that'd, be enough, that'd be enough for aye. me. I mean, the fact that he can talk as well, that's just, just the icing on the cake. I would like to be more involved in film, but that avenue hasn't come my way. And I feel now with co-filmic, there's a chance that uh, I can improve my knowledge as far as uh, TV and uh, writing is concerned. I think the um, networks that exist currently for, for filmmakers, comedy writers, producers and the like are 
often quite formal, you know. So you need to, um, if you if you've got a if you've got an idea with the BBC or with Channel Four, you need to probably have got it through uh, being represented by an agent, and then you probably need to pick up a a very busy TV producer, and and then all sorts of all money people need to get involved and stuff. And so I think you know, it, it feels sometimes that it can be a bit formal at times, and I think. One of, the, uh, one of the possibilities this scheme is offering is, is a bit more informality, so that you can uh, you know, just, just play around and just run with ideas, really, rather than worry about who your agent is, who your producer is, who your f backers are, who the broadcasters are. I think it's really important to kind of become free of those sorts of shackles. I think the more people who are involved in it, the more work will get generated, the more contacts will get generated. You know, it, it's not the be-all and end-all to get things out to London. I think it's about time we just started. Looking here, people, things can jump off from here. Things do get commissioned from Manchester. And I, I think, it, you know, we need to celebrate that. Comedy is a great door opener because it is a genre that distributors and exhibitors perceive as one that is popular. So that kind of helps us make our independent films and have a chance of getting robust distribution for them. Um, I also think it's just a wonderful idea uh, to bring together talent. I was an actor before I became a producer and I was an actor in the theatre. And we're much too niche oriented in our industry. You know, theater doesn't mix, it's one niche apart from television, which is a niche apart from cinema, which is a niche apart from stand-up comedy. And actually, you know, we all have, we all deal with stories, we all deal with people, um, and we should all get together and pool our talents. I suppose at the moment, up here especially, People really tend to operate in their own little groups. They have their immediate kind of contacts that they use. And there isn't really, at the moment, a genuine kind of network of people that are together. It's everyone just seems to be doing their own thing. So there is a need for this kind of thing. There is a need for people to find out what other people are doing. And certainly from our point of view, we're always on the lookout for new comedy talent, both in front of and behind the camera and writers, and have found it incredibly difficult to find people. I would imagine it will be very popular because you know people like going to films, people like comedy. It's coming after the comedy festival in Manchester, so there's no reason why it. You know, everyone who comes to the comedy festival should know about it, and hopefully they'll see it as a sort of extension to the comedy festival. And certainly, if, if work is coming out, work and contacts are coming out for people at the other end. And from what I hear, there's all sorts of professional bodies getting involved. It's a fantastic opportunity. And I don't see why anybody wouldn't want to be involved or back it. Uh, I feel that, you know, this will be a tremendous, tremendous service to the comedy, to the comedy business. Uh, I think it's just, just what it's needs. So co-film it. Good luck. Let's go for it. A lot, a lot going on. A lot, a lot going on. Like a, a fusion of industry, people yes. on the ground coming together. Yep culminating in like an awards ceremony, like a festival. A broth, a broth of talent. Talent, it's, it's, it's gonna take some, some vision. A bright, dynamic, cool, exciting off, like. company aye, to sponsor aye. something like this. It is, it's, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of risk taking, but you know, with a lot the, right, of reward. the determination, the energy, and the vision, sure, 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 somebody be able to pull it off. Oh, aye. Another slice of success pie? I think I will. Yes, please.